Today's topic is lumbar puncture. Though spinal anesthetics and uh, uh, other forms of uh, lumbar puncture are usually done by anesthetists, uh, we doctors in general should also know how to do this procedure and it is a part of the undergraduate training and most health professionals should know how to do this in case you are in a rural health center uh, where there is no anesthetist. So the ideal location is the interspace between the third and the fourth lumbar vertebrae and that you do by checking for the highest point on the iliac crest. Not the anterior superior iliac spine but the highest point on the iliac crest and then that would correspond to the L3, L4 interspace. You could go one space above or one space below. The procedure itself, take the needle, hold it like you would hold a dart and then slowly start inserting it in the interspace after you have uh, made a little mark with your uh, nail of the thumb so that you know exactly where you're going to poke and then advance it slowly slightly in a cephalad direction and then when you pierce the dura mater you feel a little pop and then you remove the stilet and you look for a clear return of the cerebrospinal fluid if you're giving a spinal anesthetic but however if you are taking a sample from a person with the infection you may get a turbid return or a blood stain return as whatever the case may be. Then take the sample for examination if you're doing it for uh, laboratory purpose or inject the drug if you're giving a spinal anesthetic. Then you slowly remove the needle and uh, place a sterile dressing over that area. We welcome you to the future of medical and healthcare education. We welcome you to MedRC, the heart of learning.